Okay, I don't feel so bad. I got this Oculus Rift, Oculus DK2, um, back in August, and I really haven't spent too much time with it because I had a lot of trouble with it. And I just found out from somebody that it's really good with the um, with the Mac environment, but I use Windows, so it's less good. So once you get it all plugged in, and there's a sequence, it comes with a little booklet that tells you um, how to set it all up. There's not a whole lot of other information that comes with it, but you need to go to the developer.oculusvr website and then you um, download several things. You download the um, runtime, uh, you update the uh, firmware on the Oculus, and then you um, run the, uh, you install the SDK, and then you have to run the calibration. So if you want to know where the calibration utility is. You just go to your apps and then you do Oculus, OC. There we go, uh, the, the config tool that is actually. Okay, so then you get to here. Okay, so again, I haven't done a whole lot with this, but um, this is, I, I see a lot of um, questions, so I'm sure everybody else is having this question too. So, the next logical thing you do after you do tools, tools, service, no, advanced, update firmware, which we have already done, so I'm not going to do that again. Then, um, let's use this Rift display mode. So these, I'm not sure exactly what they all mean. Um, Direct HDM access from apps, extend desktop to the HDM. So we're using extend desktop, we're leaving it there. There's DK1 legacy app support and Rift Saver. So then we go to show demo scene, right? So what happens then is you get the demo scene and it um, brings up the two images. But naturally in the this is the problem I had, is that in the image, what I was seeing, and I don't know if you could see this, is it's rotated. So the image is split horizontally, not vertically. So then what I had to do, okay, and this is definitely not a solution, but it's something that'll get you a little bit further along. I'm still working all of that out and who knows when I'll have the patience to do that again. Okay, so you go to your control panel, appearance and personal appearance and personalization display, change display settings, and here we go. One, two, multiple monitors, orientation. We are going to change this to portrait. And that just helps us get by this problem because now we're going to keep changes and it gets really hard to manage your mouse then. So I just kind of am working on my desktop, on my, um, okay, great. Keep changes, keep changes, okay. Oh, it reverted, okay. keep changes okay good okay great so we've kept the changes so now this is kind of weird but at least when we look into the oculus rift lens we will see oh and now we have to run the demo haha -ha. okay so let's go back to the config software okay here I don't know why this is. I just saw it read somewhere about it. So, you know, it is. Oh, don't do that. Now we get to show demo scene. Okay. So now the demo scene comes up with the bar horizontal because it's rotated, right? But we get to look at it here. 
with it in portrait mode, which is great. So let's see if we see that Oculus. Okay, so if I look over here, I see Oculus Start. See that? Oculus Start. And it's in the right direction. And this is what we were not seeing before. We were seeing it rotated. So what we were seeing was that. Right? Anyway, not ideal. I don't know where we go from here, but there we are. So again, on the Windows control panel, it was control panel, appearances, appearance and personalization, display, and then change display settings. I'm going to set it back to landscape now.